I guess just as a bit of a background, and as if you're seeing the title of the stream, I don't really like survival games. I kind of fell off. I only played Minecraft when it was like new-ish in like 2010. Well, I guess it was pretty new back then. And, and even then I was kind of like, oh, okay, this is fine. And then I've tried many different games. I've tried like uh, Conan. I've tried uh, what other ones are there? Um, I don't know. I've tried a few of them. <laughs> I don't remember which ones, but I, I never seem to enjoy them. So after looking at this one and reading about it, it seemed interesting. It seemed to do things. It seemed to guide you a bit more. I'd say this has more similarity to Dark Souls. Really? How are you doing, Ark? <laughs> Good to see you. Interesting. Because yeah, it seems to have a story. And it seems to have a goal. The thing I don't like about a lot of survival games is that, is that it doesn't have a goal. You're kind of just going forever and just building your things and trying to survive. It's a survival game. But this gives you some goals, and I'm sure we're going to get to see what they are as we go here. The interesting thing, and I'll bring the game up now, is the graphics, which I really enjoyed, <laughs> and it's it's very unique in its own way because it's retro, but not. You can even see just by the the shadows that the fire does. The I love this because the textures are so low resolution, but they it's a stylistic choice. Even the characters are, like, low res textures on them. And even, you could say, a low, low poly model. But it's kind of a very much... Like, I, I don't... And that's the thing. I don't know if the, this is, like, a, just an early release graphics, or if this is an in intentional artistic choice. If it's an intentional artistic choice, I actually really like it. Because as someone who grew up in a time where graphics did look like this, it kind of takes me back a little bit. It makes me think of Metal Gear Solid 1 and stuff like that, so like that era of games. Um, and I, I kind of like that. Because it, it looks cool, even like the shading, how it changes in, more chunk in a chunkier way. I think that that's kind of cool. Uh, but here, let's, uh, let's, let's see what kind of, what kind of thing we can go for. You have your male and your female, okay. No hair, braided. Also, if you don't take at least two hours building your character, don't worry, we won't. <laughs> You're not doing it right, because I don't think there are many options here. Okay, so you have a nice long braid have a little oh wow circle braid circle braid look at that give him a big beard you got the the goldilocks braid just long looks like oh oh nice ponytail very sharp can poke someone not someone's eye out classic ponytail not really pokey ponytail three just a long boy Ponytail 4. Oh, it's the... The almost a man bun, but not really. And you have short. Short 2. And you have side swept. Cover that whole side of the face. Side swept 2. Have more hair in the extra. Side swept 3. More of a shorter side sweep. And that's it. Ark says, it's kind of low poly, but it can be quite heavy due to massive procedural generation. That makes sense. Uh, I, I am curious to see how the world works, because again, from the little bit that I saw, a lot of the effects, not the textures and stuff, but like the effects are very high quality. So right now I have it maxed out. <laughs> we'll see if that works. <laughs> uh, all right. That's very true. You need two hours or more to make perfect. Yep, yep. Let's see. Uh, so what hair should we go with? What hair are we feeling? I kind of liked. I kind of like this one. Kind of like the very long emo Viking. Do you want to go emo? 
We have like the top bun. We have the poke your eye out bun. I mean, ponytail. Just long. Is there just one long? That's crazy. Then you have the braids. Actually, I, I want to check something. Can you give the lady a beard? Okay, you can. <laughs> I, I know that a lot of games nowadays let you put a beard on any character, if it's a guy or a girl. And I was hoping. Sometimes you want to make those crazy, crazy characters. Yeah, I know, right? I want to put a beard on a lady. <laughs> okay, so should we go emo viking? So I saw, I saw Kirei asking for side sweep too. No, you don't want emo viking. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with this one, and then I'm gonna give him. Let's see what kind of beards he has. He has a ponytail beard or a braid beard. Ooh, ooh! Look at those beard physics. <laughs> Not very good. It's just the little tip goes. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this one doesn't really have physics. Oh! That one's pretty cool. Long one. Uh, I don't like this one. It looks like these are legs. These are chicken legs. And then you tie the chicken feet together. Chicken beard. <laughs> really and then an egg just pops out of the middle. <laughs> then you have short. Just a classy short one. Longer. Oh, from the side, this one looks very nice. I like the profile that it gives him. This looks pretty like, it looks like a Zeus kind of thing. And then a short, this looks like a young Viking, you know, like he's starting out. No one respects him. He's like, he's like the loser of the bunch. He's like, oh, I only have, I only have big muscles. I don't have the full beard. Oh, what a loser. So, and a thick, ooh, Santa. Ooh, they, they do a good job with the profiles. The beard profiles look very nice. I don't know. What are you guys feeling? Chicken beard? I really like this one. But it doesn't fit his face quite right. Are you seeing that? It's a little bit too low. It's a little bit too, it's like it's in his mouth. It's like he, it's like someone pulled down the Santa's beard. So it looks kind of weird. If they had placed it a little bit better, I think I might enjoy it better. I don't know. I would have gone for this one if it wasn't for that. Because I think it's cool. But right now I'm thinking this one just because I really like the profile of it. And then we have to pick color. We can be a redhead. And then we can control. Whoa, shiny red. <laughs> we could go with white. I am an old man. Old man winter. Should we go black? I don't know. If you're going for Viking, I think it, they tend to have more of a lighter, a lighter tone, like either red or or like. A dirty blonde, like this, almost. If we're gonna do a, a proper Viking. Or brown? You think brown could go well with... Like this? Nice. Yeah, actually, this brown actually looks nice. Okay, I like this. I like this. A lighter brown. What should we name him? We'll call him... Ganondorf. <laughs> no. Um... This is the one thing I am... I, I just admit it, I am horrendous at. It's giving names to anything. Anything. Whenever I'm, I was writing a script or doing anything, I couldn't name it anything. I was terrible, so... Any name suggestions are welcome. Otherwise, I might end up calling it Joe. 
It might just become a Joe. And we don't want that. No offense to any Joes out there. Yeah, strong Viking name. Joe. Uh, I think if you're going with a strong Viking name, you have like something Luflin blum blum something. Oh, or a son. That's, that's a good one. So, like Smithson, or Blacksmithson, or <laughs> Baby Eater Son, or Loki Thor Son, Odin Son. Oh, that makes sense, right? Oh, okay. Joe Smith's Son. There we go. Kind of like that. I kind of like that. Joe kind of strikes that, that perfect Joe Smithson. <laughs> what is your name, Viking? Joe! Let's go! <laughs> All right. Remove, we don't need this. What's a Viking name for a world? I think with two S's. Okay, back. Can I? Bye, Joe. We gotta rebuild him. Okay. What was the hair? I forget what I went with. Oh, I went, I went with that. Okay. That. That. Then I went with this, something like that. Joe Smith Son. Grr. No. Smith Song? Now oh, that's kind of weird. He's a little bit blonder now. That's we create a name. Uh I'm gonna I'm actually gonna use a generator for this. Nordic or Viking Location Names. Viking Town Name Generator. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let me let me pull this up for you guys so you guys can see this. We're going all in. All right. Get town names. Boom. Do we want Ketilsodstyoir? Do we want Alviora? Do we want Flakavavaroy? Hvitarsioa? Skugbjorg? Ingolfshofavarfi? Camber? Joko Salhirlio Bratsholt Bratsholt Hofo Abreka I kind of like this one. I'm gonna go with that. It has golf in it. That's <laughs> all that matters. <laughs> it has golf in the name. <gasps> okay, I was gonna say, I can't copy. This game crashed when I... When I when it was loading like this, it kept crashing. Oh, I just read that now, Ark. That's a good idea too. That's too bad. Mm. It didn't crash. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Quick question. Do they read? Or should I read? Do they read? Should I read? Long ago, the All-Father, Odin, united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the Tenth World, then split the boughs that held the 
their prison to the world tree and left it to the drift unanchored a place of exile for centuries this world slumbered uneasily but did not die a glacial ages passed kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods when odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength he looked to midgar and sent his valkyries to scour the battlefield's greatest war dead to the world born again balheim <laughs> this is a little bit this is an early access game slow it down you know what just in general was scrolling text in anything well in any game they should have like if you press up arrow or down arrow it speeds it up or slows it down that should just be a thing also this is pretty cool oh look at the wetness of the burn <laughs> That's nice wetness that this game has. Also, <laughs> I like my guy. Ah! <laughs> He's just like. Ah! <laughs> I got, we're gonna hit the street. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> it's going really wrong. <laughs> you are wet. No joke. I. It, it said, I bring tidings. I read, I bring titties. And I was like, this this might not be stream appropriate anymore. You are moist. Welcome to the 10th world, warrior. I am Huggin Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Oh. Okay. Sacrificial stone, read. Well met! First of the forest, king in the wood, lord over those who dwell at his feet. His roots will grow where cities once stood. Their blood is wine, their flesh is meat. Oh, this is like a tree giant. Tree giant. How about this dude? <laughs> you are sweating. No, I am moist. <laughs> I am moist. Wanderer, look to your feet that tread upon our tomb. One thousand bones without their meat will drag you to your doom. Okay, wait. Wanderer, look to your feet, tread upon our tomb. One thousand bones without their meat will drag you to... So I guess where I see a lot of bones there, we might see like a big round giant of some sort. Oh. Black wings across the moon and sun. Down from the mountain, our mother comes. Her, her weeping tears will fall like rain. Her voice will call us home again. I try to make it rhyme a little bit better. His antlers are branches of iron. They crack. How do they know what iron is? Do they have I guess the... Okay, never mind. They crack the rocks and bring down mountains. His hooves are, are the sound of thunder. His voice, a howling gale. Okay. Interesting. So I'm guessing these are the bosses. This also almost gives me, like, Shadow the Colossus vibes. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Long ages past, he wore a crown beneath a bloody red sky. Now naught is left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. I bring tidings. Who keeps saying that? Is that the bird? Okay. <laughs> Hello. This stone is a veg, veg vizier. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If in, inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ichthyr, your first prey. He is a mighty beast. So you need to properly arm yourselves before even attempting to defeat him. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Um, that's kind of close. I don't know if I like that. 
Bird, I don't understand you. Why do you... Whoa. Is that Idrisil or whatever? Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty. This is a pretty game. Oh, good night. Sleep well. Thank you for stopping by. I was really caught up on reading. Okay, so. I need to fight the beast, but I need to arm myself. Okay. I see I have a food meter. And I have a life meter. Oh, I actually really like the, the grass. Again, these are low poly textures, but they look so good. Can I pick this branch? Oh, okay. okay. Stone axe. That's useful. Can I cut down trees if I... How do, how do I menu? I for inventory. Tab. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh! Hey, here, warrior! Take stock of your inventory! Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgar, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and you will it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Why do the birds sometimes fly away and then sometimes he poofs away? It's inconsistent. Okay, stone axe, I need five wood and four stone. Club, I need six wood. Hammer, I need three wood and two stone. Okay, so I need to find stone. Or can I start punching a tree? Ooh. Okay, I think I'm doing zero damage to this tree. How about you? So, do I just... Get branches. Okay. What kind of stones can I pick up? I might have to lower the settings. <laughs> I I just pushed everything out as far as I could. I'm just gonna go back to the... There we go. <laughs> Let's see if that helps a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Attack. Oh, I don't, I don't like that mouse too is... Mouse. Okay. Okay. I don't like that mouse three is secondary attack. It's... On my mouse, it's such a hard button to press. There we go. Okay. Alright. I'm not thinking of attacking them just yet. I kinda wanna get my tools. I'm not finding any rocks. This is problematic. <laughs> I need rocks. I need stones. And... I do not has. Okay. The game is hitching every five seconds now, so I'm gonna start turning things down. Um... What do you guys recommend? For vegetation quality? Oh, that looks terrible now. It's still hitching! <laughs> if it's just gonna always hitch, I might as well just leave it. Some of the quality things? Okay. 
settings, particle lights, yeah, that's not really necessary. Sh uh, shadow quality, I really like good shadow quality. Okay. Is the shadow really what's doing it? I like me a good, good shadow quality. Touching more! <laughs> I don't understand. Ooh, ooh, got a nice little raspberry. Oh, hello. A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will go hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Thank you. Okay. Um, how do I do this? Oh, okay, right click. Seems pretty good. I think I should have enough now. I would turn- okay. Uh, boop. Let's see. I can do an axe now. There we go. So I have an axe, and that, that's my number two. Oh, ooh, double tree. So, Ark, since you were mentioning that this this is more of a, like, Dark Souls-like, should I be... Oh, Birch is too hard. Oh, oh, Timber! Oh, whoa! Should I be, um... Whoa, this is actually pretty detailed. It's like splitting into halves. Resin. Would it be better if I played with a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard? There we go, there's all the wood. Oh, I can just walk over it to get it. Okay. Because I know that, at least for Dark Souls, it tends to be a little bit better if you're just using controller. Dark Souls-like stuff can become apparent later, but there's some pretty difficult bosses that are going to... And going to the graveyard first feels... Oh, okay, I see. I see. So it's it's uh, later on. I'm not I'm not about to go running in with my little, my little wooden axe. <laughs> Should I turn world detail down a little bit more? Settings. Why did that go up? So is Birch too hard? Yeah, okay. I didn't know that Birch was harder. <laughs> is, this, is this real world accurate? Birch is a harder wood? That's that's interesting information. So I'm uh, I'm getting a lot of wood here. Like that seems to be the only thing I can gather so far. I guess I can make a hammer. What's a hammer gonna do for me? And where am I in the map? Okay, so I'm going inland. Probably don't want to go north. Do I have a? What in the world? What's that? Hello, oh, oh. Hello. Okay. Got me res. Is there any advantage? Cause like this seems like a good place for me to put down a base or something. Uh, is there any advantage to being close to water? Is there 
Uh, should I try to put it close to water, or is this good? Like, I'm gonna be okay if I build a base here. Blur could be turned down. View distance. So, blur. Which one is blur? Miscellaneous? No. Blur, 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 blur. Soft particles, depth of field. Bloom? Oh. Still hitching. I wonder what it is. I'm gonna have to just, like, check this after afterwards. See what... what is causing it. Yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, it's causing the same amount at all levels, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna increase the things that actually make the game look better since it doesn't seem to matter since it's hitching the same uh, closer to water has some advantages to boats okay yeah i mean it's not it's not really unless it's like super bothersome to you guys it's okay to me right now i'm not doing anything crazy or like oh pigs pigs <gasps> wet pigs wet pig oh no Oh no! <laughs> it's an angry pig. It's a boar. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's a lot of blood. I just wanted to get near this rock. Runestone. This land is hard and wild, but we who have who are brought here are harder still. Ah! Ah! Uh, get away! Okay. Um... The land is hard and wild, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you. The good wood and stone, the fruits, and the flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the grounds are their pleasure. Oh, so I shouldn't be killing the boar. <laughs> I should be taming them. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go around because I don't wanna. aggravate them anymore it looks like it's running fine on stream okay I did kill some boars I killed some boars um I have some meat so what what else can I make I can make a club for attacking it seems to be fine I make a hammer with this to your hand you can raise high halls and okay so this is the building building thing okay I can Okay. I bring tidings. You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls into- Okay. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct- Okay, I'm gonna go to the- I'm gonna go to the- um, To the water first. So let me go to the water. I'm gonna run as much as I can, because I saw that running actually gives me abilities. Look at the screen shake. This is very soothing. I really like this. <laughs> this is incredibly soothing. It's very chill. Uh-oh. So how much wood do I have? Okay, I have 30 more wood. I'm gonna make a club. Wait a minute, why to make a club do I need six pieces of wood if a club is just so big? Can I just use a... Oh, I see the eyes over there. Hello? Ooh. Okay, so 
it seems like they give resin. And it seems like I'm getting to it. Is there something following me? Okay. Yeah. And it, it's really the music, too. It kind of feels like running around in a forest, yeah. And the the quality of the effects just... As I, I thought, they were like, they're really good. And so it makes it feel realistic, even though, like, the low poly doesn't ruin it at all. I really like it. And... I mean, the low, the low res and a little bit of the low poly, like, it, it's fine. And I actually really like that. It works well. So once, once I find a good place for me to put down a base, I'm gonna analyze a little bit more of, like, how this progression is working, how I'm just, I just kind of want to get to a place right now place that I can Ooh. I feel cold I feel wet when temperature drops at night or are you a skelly Wait, bird. <laughs> uh oh, need to eat. Bird, you were gonna tell me something about being cold. Uh oh. I really like the fact, I like the eyes. And your eyes don't glow like that. It makes it very apparent. That to me is... That's good. Okay, this seems like a good little area. Nice little opening right here close to the... Alright, so I need to build a fire of some sort. So, oh, oh. Okay. So, okay, so I have a hammer. Left shift. Toggle. Okay. Mouse to building menu. Oh. Hey, there we go. I'm not cold anymore. Uh, all right. What else can I build? Crafting workbench. Can I spin it? How do I, how do I spin it? Oh, there we go. All right. How do I stop this? How do I stop this? Um... Hello, bird! Oh no, oh no! Craft complex- workbench allows you to craft complex items, access lots of more buildings. Oh no, I'm on fire! He had a star by his name. That means he's really hard. No need to be overly concerned D about the. Okay. Oh, so I respawn at the thing. Stupid deer! <laughs> I will pop up a few meters away. You suffered a mortal blow. Each time you are struck down, you will forget a small part of your ability and drop your belongings at the site of the accident. If you wish. If you are home by now, I'd recommend building a bed, wherever home may be. Okay. So I know I need to go west. Uh-oh, I see eyes. That's no good when I'm like this. That's cool. This is pretty. Okay, I see where my death is. Get away from me! Oh, I see my fire. The Yelp review on enemies mean that... 
<laughs> they are something hard. I think I've only seen two stars at most. Okay. Good to know. Yelp review's bad. Zero star Yelp review, good. Aw, oh, there's, there's still a dude there. That's not good. Will he leave? Get away! I want my stuff. No! How do I get it? How do I get it? Ah! Get away! <laughs> no, I have stuff following me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the fire. Use the fire. Okay, oh they run away from the fire. Do they? Okay, they run away from the fire, it seems. No stars, they're just fine. One star is they're angry. Two stars, they're extra angry. Okay, but it doesn't seem like he'll get close to me because I'm near the fire. Okay. Crafting station needs a roof? What does that mean? Okay, maybe I can get like some, some swings at him. While he's kind of running away. Uh oh, uh oh. Need food. What does that mean? Oh, you're going to throw stuff? I guess blocking too, if I block. <laughs> the coward's way of fighting. Okay. Doesn't seem very interested in fighting me, per se. Seems... Uh-oh. Uh oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. Okay. So I need to build a roof. Um, okay. This guy's just. It's really annoying me. I know I can just, like, stop and. Are you serious? Please don't throw stuff at me. I'm trying to. really annoying me. <laughs> but I know I'll die if I attack you. Okay. Okay. I need a roof. Okay. Okay. Let's... Can you stop? Is there a way for me to recover life a little bit faster? I want to swing at this dude. Almost dead. This is <sighs> what happens? I'm gonna get too impatient. <laughs> oh, I never got to see the loading screen. Okay. All right. I guess it operates maybe if you built a hut when you die like yeah or a bed like they said bed would be the 
So, but that's the thing. I was looking at the menu. I, don't, I couldn't really figure out how to build stuff. I mean, oh, you know what? I was looking at the inventory. I need to look at the hammer. That's what I need to look at. Look at the hammer, not the inventory. Day two. Okay. I just died twice on the first day. <laughs> hey, where's the dude? I like that it's persistent, though. That's one thing, like, people, creatures don't just disappear and stuff like that. Okay, he's gone. Okay. Um, so, I need to open my... There we go. Um... Oh, there we go. Furniture... Chest. Okay, that's good. Repair... Wood stack... Raft... Okay. I can start building a little shack. Furniture. Bed? Okay, so maybe I can just put a bed. Does it need to be in a house? Okay. Oh, do I not have eight wood? No, I do. Is there... Okay, here's a question. Oh, oh. Is this the limit of where I can build? Maybe I should get a little bit close to water. Can I move this? Oh, that kind of destroyed it. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Um, unless the destruction is one to one, so like it, it doesn't really matter. You can remove and get full re full refund. Okay, that's good. All right. So now what I'm trying to is there a way to can you terraform at all in this game? Can I dig? Can I do anything in that regard? Or no? Like nothing like that. Usually build floor with workbench. Remove workbench and build on on floor. Okay. Okay. You can, you just need to build a hoe. Alright, how do I build a hoe? Are you a hoe? Nope, that's a cooking station. How does one build a hoe? I guess I just didn't learn it yet. Okay, I'm gonna build a floor. <laughs> I'm gonna build a floor. And why do I keep pressing that? Wood floor, two by two. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna make a nice beach front view. Boom. Boom. Going into the ground, that's great. That's great. Wait, so you can terraform in this? That actually would make it very different from from a lot of survival games, right? You don't usually terraform in, like... Obviously you terraform in Minecraft. But... The more detailed ones you don't usually, right? You can, like, even the ground, raise it, or dig. Interesting. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, he's back. Get out of here. No, 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 log. Why are you doing this? Please, please. Okay, he's terrible aim. Yeah, I just need this wood. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away. Get away. Get away. <laughs> oh, you don't have a star by your name. <laughs> Die, potato. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, 
Oh, you're on his eye. Cool. I'm getting better at wood cutting. Uh, when I get better at wood cutting, does it mean I get more wood from it? Does it mean I cut it faster? That's what I'm guessing it means. It means I cut it faster. And what are these? Valheim Compendium. Oh, okay. These are all the messages. Okay. Okay, what's this? These are my skills, so I'm almost up to the, my next level. Okay, cool. Interesting. And it only seems to show the abilities I already kind of achieved. It doesn't It doesn't show anything else. It's, it might be a growing list. That's actually very interesting. Trophies, no trophies. PvP damage. Okay. No PvP. It means axe does more damage to wood, which eventually means you cut faster. Good to know, good to know. All right. Um, there we go, boom, this is my house. And it needs a roof, right? It said it needed a roof. So I'm gonna make a wall. Make a little little hobbit hole. Uh, so for everything, if you destroy it, no, 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 no. Do I remove something? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of wood. I'm gonna have to farm some wood. Oh, good. There's a lot of stones here. I'm gonna need to be able to learn how to pick up not just stone stone, but like break rocks. Cause that's gonna become a problem <laughs> soon. So now I'm doing 0.6 more. Is that accurate? Punch this. Yes! Punch this! Yes! Alright. Wait. Can I... Can I repair that? Why does it still... Why is it still there? Can I repair it? can repair but not yet okay I guess I'll just build another one what tree was I cutting I was cutting this one right there we go timber oh it cut ah! it cuts it that's cool that's cool that they interact with each other. That's something I didn't like in Minecraft. Obviously, like, it's all part of Minecraft or whatever. And Minecraft is the only survival connection I have. Uh, but I like that it hits other trees and it, it, can, it can take them down. That's really cool. Do, do all... Uh, do all... Um... This is kind of the first cool thing, how the basics work. So like, is this a normal thing to happen in a lot of these games? Or is that what you're saying? Like, it's the physics, how they, they use the physicality of the world and stuff like that into and kind of make that a part of it, a part of the what you learn and what you do and what you use. That's really cool. I really like that it 
it actually, you know, hit the other tree, and now it's... I think it's not normal that you... <laughs> so... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I love when games do that. When they actually use logic... I love when <laughs> I love when games do that though. When they actually use like real world logic to their physics and stuff like that. I remember even when I was playing something like uh, Breath of the Wild, I was like, whoa. It makes sense. If you blow a thing with wind, it'll, like, go. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Oh, uh-oh. Is this a baddie thing? Why is there so much fog here? <laughs> no, no. Away. naked than I remember? Yes, I am. How do I... How do I clothe myself? Oh, there we go. Whoa, why am I doing extra damage? I think it isn't even some... Ah! 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 I think it... This isn't even some quirky idea from a game dev. It's something you would need to consider when cutting wood. Yeah, no, I agree. It's not like, oh man, I can't believe, oh yeah. It's just like, yeah. This is what happened in real life. People don't just cut a tree and just, oh, and then they just, you know, fade through the tree and it's like, I'm fine. There's no fading in real world. Gra <laughs> Gradients are a lie. Everything is a solid color. My little hut. My little hut looks nice. I should move my bench. Um, remove. <sighs> I need to change that to. Mouse 3, deconstruct to it. The, uh, it's weird that they call it Mouse 3 and Mouse Dash 3. <laughs> They're the two different. Okay. I'm gonna... Crafting... There we go. Bam. Nope. Bam. Now we need a roof, because it said I needed a roof. So, building... Is that enough roof for it? Let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. I kind of really want to do this. There is nothing. So I was playing, oh, that's another survival game I played and didn't really like. Uh, Rust. And one thing I hated was when ground popped up around inside my my stuff i'm like ground what are you doing don't pop up around my stuff doesn't make sense hello you have crafted a hole 
This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear ground and manipulate terrain. It is easier to create buildings on level ground. You said it, bird. All right. So I'm going to pick the perfect position. I don't know. I think this little alcove right here. Like if we just level this out. This can be very nice. Like this would be the perfect height. It's not too close to the water, but it's pretty close to the water. So it kind of works. So I keep wanting to scroll. Okay. 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 Floating fire. Floating fire. So, do I have to click multiple times to level it out? Yeah, it seems like it. It doesn't seem like it levels it all at once. Am I doing this right? Level ground, raise ground, pathin. Pathin? That's not a word. <laughs> I shall pathin. Okay, yeah, this is rising. I want this to be. I need more muscle. I think mostly works in relation to where you're standing, but it doesn't dig or raise ground infinitely. Seems to be doing pretty okay right now. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have built somewhere where there's a rock. <laughs> I'm like a madman. <laughs> Just going around. So, I'm gonna try making a sky house. I'm gonna make it so my house floats. That is my goal. Actually, I don't know why I'm making such a big... I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything with such a big area. Pretty good though. This is pretty good. Can't complain, can't complain. Looking good, looking snazzy. Did I just spend the whole day hoeing around? I did. But now it's looking good. The land looks flat. Hmm, hmm. That's my problem. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So then, games like this, just like... <laughs> this happens. <gasps> My hoe broke. And that's my problem. I think this is pretty good, though. Try hammer symbol on the workbench. Hammer symbol on the workbench?
Oh. Repaired hammer. Oh. Oh. Can you pick though what you're repairing? Cause I, I kind of am I naked again? No, I want to equip it. Okay. I think I have. Can you farm? Try tomato a bed. What? Tomato? Bed? Okay, I'm actually- I think I'm gonna destroy all of this. Because now I want to rebuild it. Properly. Now that I have... I don't understand the rule. <laughs> okay, okay. not afraid of fire this is a problem um oh boy Um... Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Is he destroying my stuff? him. None of the other guys destroyed stuff. Get out. Is it the farther I go from the bent, the, the beginning of the game, the higher level enemies? I would I'll encounter is that kind of the 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 rule the rule of thumb So sneaking uses my stamina? That's new. Yeah, screw that guy. I'll let him leave since he destroyed everything. I'm just gonna let him leave. Yeah. Who sees me?
place. No, no. Sc screw you, guy. I'm, am I making a trap for myself? Screw you, guy. There's another guy! What's this? Convention of dudes? I'm just looking at my flat land and leaving. They all want my flat land. Go make your own flat land. I made this with the sweat of my own brow. Just chilling back there. Okay. Seems to be going away. Okay. I just want to level ground. Are you kidding? I think what's the big reason they spawn is north of this spot. Can you stop them from spawning? Is that like a thing? Can you like do stuff like that in this game? So like you find their hovel and then you can stop them from spawning? Cause that would be cool. But maybe what I should do is move my my base to a different place, because this might be... Sometimes I think it's just a different biome. Okay. I've made it mostly flat here. Okay. Look for this rock. But other than that, pretty flat. Like we got we got a good good amount of flat land going on here. We can start building now. Put this right here. Boom. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna put some foundation. Just put some foundation. And go. Blam. 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 Blam.
My land isn't flat. Oh, what a disappointment. I just want flat land. I guess that's one thing they could improve, is in making their sure that the land is actually flat. Because this bothers me. I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't worry about this. Like right here. I'll build this way. Because this way it seems to be a little bit better. I'm going to add just one more row. And that'll be my... But... is very suit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna remove that. We're gonna put it... Um, wrong menu. I'm gonna put it right here for now. And... We can go back to building. I'm still getting used to these menus. We did it. Oh, I need stone to do that. Alright. Wood wall. Nope. Da -da. Ba -da. Okay. Oh, it's right in the middle. Can I do anything about that? Oh, I am out of wood. Oh, oh, this game is gorgeous. What? This game is really pretty. <laughs> I'm so focused on building my little... My little shack.
this game is really pretty. Look at that sun coming through. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, oh no. Which uh, uh, uh. <laughs> We're okay, we're alive. <gasps> Is that a bald eagle? It's not a bald eagle. It looks like a seagull. Are you serious? There's another one coming. I need to get good. Please, sir. Please stop, sir. Yeah, okay. Run away. Yep, yep. Run away. <sighs> what kind of baddie are you? Are you one I can take? Okay. There we go. I know where the numbers are. This is gonna roll on me. I have a feeling. I could eat another bite. Yeah, roll the other way. Okay. Ah, ah, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Screw you. Uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I need to build a bed. When you have built a bed, don't forget to claim it. Okay. Okay. Hopefully this will be the last trip. This will be the last trip back. <laughs> oh. Why did I pick such a hard place to build? I could have just built in the meadows, you know? This has been a nice place. No, we have to build in the... Like, I could have built here. This could have been nice. It's pretty close, pretty quick walk to the to the shore. No, said Rods. I'm gonna build by the water. Now what's happening? I'm just dying. Ooh. Berries. Give me berries. I don't get why the screen shakes sometimes. Is it when an enemy is nearby? Sometimes I feel just like it's randomly shaking. I don't want to be caught. Did I cut this? I did. Okay. Are the bad guys around my stuff? No, they're not. Quick. Items recovered. Let's quickly finish cutting this before anyone comes. Corpse run? What's corpse run? No, I got it. There it is. Does it mean I run faster once I've died? You guys go away. You guys leave. 
All right. If you zoom in on the map, you can kind of get a hint of how long the travels can go, or zoom out, I mean. Is this a flat plane? Are we on? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Screw you guys. I'm in my house. You're in my house! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Leave my house! You're breaking my house! Oh! <laughs> second floor because um keep forgetting the controls hey there we go is it easier to build it from the side? easier to build it from the side. I'm gonna make a fortress. He's never gonna get in. Screw that dude. Okay. And I'm gonna make a bed up here. That's gonna be my thing. I'm gonna protect myself and I'm gonna put down a bed. That will be my thing. Yeah, especially because up here it's warmer. Oh, 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 no. Actually, yeah. Okay, okay. Putting down a bed. So that, that won't happen anymore. I think the one height rooms can really limit your vision. Should I do two height? I'll just do the bottom one as one height. I'll make the rest two height. Just like this front area. Just this is gonna be one height. I can have like storage down there. Eh, eh. Maybe I'll make it. I'll make it. Okay, okay. Hey, warrior, what are you doing in my bed? <laughs> Get out of my bed, bird. <laughs> Hello. A, he a headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. Good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen. While you're exploring. Oh, thank you. Oh. He's gone. Yeah, I guess he couldn't really do much from there. All right. Um. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? <gasps> I put it underneath the floor. I put it underneath should work. Yes. Exactly. He needs an actual roof. 
Yeah, this this is this kind of sucks. <laughs> Flowers don't always count as roofs in this. Okay. So I'm building a hammer. So, single things out. The no cool thing to do is have a double sized floor. So you're out. Um. Double sized floors are, oh, I should sleep first. No, I should sleep at night when that comes around. Okay. Okay. Um. It's gonna have to become a longhouse. <gasps> Longhouses are actual things. Okay. Opening that menu. Really wanna open that menu. Blocked by myself. Yeah, th this is one thing. Yeah, they're early access, whatever. This they can improve so that, like, when you're tr clearly trying to get it closer to the edge they they stick a little bit better they don't have to okay yeah now they if anything some people might not like heavier snapping because they want high precision and want to place things specifically um make it a toggle I'd say make it a toggle. Uh, but otherwise... Oh yeah, floor... I should do this while it's still day. Get some... Screw you! Why are you still here? <laughs> Get away from me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Go away now. this could be risky it's cool that this game is auto generated too like I again not really from the survival background here uh, cuz it, it seems like it would be hard especially when you get more complex oh it's, it's out. especially when you get more complex with the graphics it seems like it would be hard to maintain something like to generate something like this oh i just okay so i'm gonna do the top one first and it's probably gonna roll this way so I'm... Yeah. and i bet i could like kill bad guys by rolling stones was it a baby one it was red it was red and that's what worried me I saw that it was red and I was just like, nope, I'm out of here.
It was small, but it was red. Oh, it's still there. sleeping. Hopefully before... Okay. Is he still there? I think... So is it dictated by the eyes or is it dictated by something else? Because it it's red and I think it, it's this... Okay. You know what? We're just gonna run. Do, 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 do. And, and we're gonna sleep. Oh boy. Screw you guys! Leave! Ow. Okay, so... Am I even doing this the right way? Yeah. Can I please hammer and... Why can't I hammer <laughs> and have a torch? Can I, um, have a fire here? Is this allowed? No. Can I have a fire here? Um, okay. 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 Tr try to do this in the dark. Okay, so I'm just gonna write in- oh, please snap. <laughs> right now what I'm gonna do is just make sure that both the bed and the- and the work thingy are covered. That's what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna put a roof on here. I always open that. Um, 45 degrees, 26 degrees. I think the bed is covered.
Oh, that is a pickle. Uh, oh, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. You're totally right. You're totally right. I can just remove the tile of the floor. Bam. And fire. Hey. That's the whole point. <laughs> as long as the house doesn't catch fire, I'm okay. Oh. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is a disaster. Can I build... Well, my, my, wait, my spawn point is set. I'm good. I'm good. What? 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 Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. I think I'm poisoned. So they have poison spitting ones. Yes. Let me sleep. Yes. You stand at the prow of a leaping ship, the salt spray before you, and the joyful shriek. Oh. The text is too fast. Uh oh. <laughs> Seems like another pickle. Now I'm ready to attack. Ready to fight. Yeah? Get over here. No one can beat me now. Okay, okay. This house is looking pretty cool. Kind of a, an interesting look. I might even do like a slant like that. That could be cool. Have a cool slant. Could be a, a new style. Modern Viking style. Maybe I'll be a, a homeowner. That's one thing. That is one thing I wish you could do in these games. Is not only. And I, I know that you can go into servers and stuff like that. But. Uh, yeah, I do need a little bit of support so that it, it feels more realistic because I think it'll stand right it, it doesn't adhere to physics in that way um, but I Wish there was a way my dream game Would be what I wanted I when I played Red Dead 2 I Fell in love with it and I would love a survival game where I can be a cowboy. So, if there was one that starts with you like going west, and it's just this, just lands like this. There is stru structural integrity stuff? Okay, interesting. Oh, okay. <gasps> 
Light shaft. Light shaft. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's another red guy. Are you... Let's see, has blue eyes. Yeah. Who are you, man? I'm out. <gasps> and I'm naked. Screw you, guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My fire is out. Yeah. Stay over there. Flint? Flint axe? Flint knife? I just want to cut trees. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, dude. Listen. Yeah, no, the torch is the real MVP of that fight. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been a goner. Is that a boar? Or okay, not gonna mess with that yet. Ooh, two for one. Two for one. Anyway, to what I was saying before. I would love a Western-style survival game, but that doesn't just stop at you, you know, building your little hut in the middle of nowhere. It would have to be kind of like a, uh, an MMO of sorts, but not like MMO as in genre, but just like massive online multiplayer. And I know you can do like servers with a lot of survival games, but it's still limited to a lot of like, you know, how much can your computer take and stuff like that. It would have to be a more robust solution, but I would want it, so essentially where I would want it to get to would be, um, I would want it to get to the point where you're building your own towns and like people are actually living in those towns, like real people. And, uh, you know, it, you still build your own home and stuff and how I was just thinking like how it would end up being it's just, oh, we're out of both axes, okay. It's just, you have your own lot, and you can't really build outside of that lot, but you can do within that lot, you do whatever you want. That's just for towns. If you're outside of towns, then you, you know, you do whatever. Um, but, I don't know. That's kind of the idea I had for something like that, because I, I think it would, I would really enjoy... Oh, we have... I would really enjoy something where you can do, like, building and and then 
building a community and stuff like that. I think that that would be really cool. It's just... I understand the difficulty and infeasibility of something like that is, you know, not the most feasible thing. <laughs> but I think that that would be, and that's why I was so sad that they completely messed up Red Dead Online. I thought Red, o Red Dead Online could have been such a cool idea, but it really wasn't. <laughs> it, it really sucked how they implemented it. I think a big problem with multiplayer is how players play it and what they want. Yeah, that's why I think it could be a good idea to have some sort of, like, um... It would be a good idea to have, like, own servers, private servers and stuff like that, because in communities, like, in smaller communities, you can do that, right? If you have, like, say, we had a a Nikki community, a Rod's community, whatever. You can totally do that and it works. Uh, but I, I'd i want it to be like, I guess it's more, more of a... a f like building, I guess, of a larger community that is willing to respect those rules. Because, yeah, you can't enforce it. I think a good example of someone trying to enforce something like that and it not working was Bethesda with 76, where you couldn't play P like PvP, but you couldn't play PvE properly either. So it was like a mix of things other than the bunch of other problems that game had. Uh, you know, as someone who actually put quite a few hours into that game, it didn't have anything for anyone. <laughs> and that was the problem with that game. So, that's, that's what I think could be a huge improvement, or like, that could be the idea, is just, it would still have to be something server-based, where you have your own servers, and you know, private servers and stuff, but that's a lot, and also, as a, as a side note, that's where I think, that's one of the biggest things they messed up with that game, is that there aren't any private ca are doors just short? <laughs> are, are doors just short? Is that a... Uh... Can I do a half wall? Because I feel like I'm going to need a half wall here. <laughs> Gates are like high doors. Wood gate. Right. Oh, there we go. I guess it does mess up the, the building a little bit. How do I close this gap? <laughs> this is a problem. We put one of these? Nope. Okay. There aren't half walls. They should add half walls. And support beams for the sides and supporting sides of the... Yeah, so these are support beams, right? Wood pole... I'm guessing that these are the... Wood beam... Oh, but these are... I'm not sure if support beams work here for snapping. So, are there actual support beams? Or are you just talking about these poles? Well, like, I know you were talking, you were mentioning... So let's see, I, I didn't get to see... Oh, I see, so it's yellow here. So... Okay, first of all, getting rid of this fire. Second of all, time to add... This is a problem. Okay. <laughs> the 
touching the ground? It is. Okay, there we go. Looking good. I guess I should build a third one in, in case someone decides to come destroy my house. <laughs> there we go. Everything is properly supported now. Often, if you can't snap it, putting it roughly around there. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Alright, so for the... Far <laughs> okay. That is a problem. The fact that I can, <laughs> I can get through it is a problem. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Do that. Oh. Oh, that's a, a different problem. This is bad. <laughs> um... Can this gate go a little bit farther forward? Okay, so... What I'm gonna do... Okay, so there are two... Yeah, okay. I think this is a little bit better. Let's try it. Nope. I gotta do the front first. Okay, this is fine. My house is gonna have little wings. I'm okay with that. Looks kinda cool. Boom. Winged house. Wait, you can you can do that? <laughs> okay, I need to fix my stuff. <laughs> That's uh Okay. So destroy that, destroy that. Why did I just destroy? Okay. It just didn't show up properly. I should... Oh, okay. I gotta do this quickly. I'm worried that I'm gonna get attacked before I have a way to... Oh, okay. Is this what I can cut? Yeah. Trees falling around me. Uh oh. Don't roll on me. Okay. Like stacking horizontal logs to make walls. What? Like stack these logs? Like these logs? <laughs> you can do that? That is pretty cool. I that that it breaks like this first. It breaks into a half of the tall tree if it's a tall tree. I don't even know if it even if it's a less tall tree it doesn't. I'm going to keep getting trees so I can do stuff through the night. It's a common technique for summer cottages around here. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I have seen cottages like that in real life. And they are really cool. They are really cool how they do it. So they kind of like have the little... The way they kind of stack on each other. It's just really smart. And I mean, I know it's like an old technique that they've used for years. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. 
this is another little detail that I would like to see them improve. If you point up, I would like him to swing higher up. Point down, swing high, uh, lower. I think that's a small change that could make a huge difference. Because right now I'm pointing, but he, he's still going at it the same place. And I think that that could be a simple thing that could be a huge improvement. Huge improvement. And I know that there's a little feedback button, so I could totally say that. But I'm sure so many people have said that already, because I think it's a no-brainer. Oh, this is gonna fall on me. I wish there was like a clock or something so I could know the time. <laughs> you know, a clock in Viking times. It's called looking at the sun. <laughs> but just so I could know, like, not an actual clock, but just so I could know how quickly night is approaching. Like, this feels like night is approaching. <laughs> right now, so. I think they will improve those things. They seem like they have have been putting work into making the basics fun. That's awesome. And that's what I think matters the most. I think you need to get the basics down first before you go into like big, crazy new things that we gotta do. Uh-oh. 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 I like how they explode. That's also really nice. It's a nice little touch. Really like that. I kind of like the shape of this house. <laughs> uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, so... Two... Always open. Okay. And then here... I can have, on top of the, the door, I can have a half wall. But they should totally add half like, half walls in the vertical sense, too. Because I think it would be cool to have just kind of a... Because I know they have these half walls. That's nice. Look at that. Looking like a proper building. Alright. So, now I'm actually going to try doing the thing. Or should I make it? I might make it. I kind of like having this open space. kind of like having a half half open like this. Okay. Resting. How am I resting? Okay. Um sleep. There we go. I love when the devs truly love about love their game. And I think that when you have a smaller team Tends to be the case. Although I have heard like some horror stories of teams like, um, <laughs> and that's the thing. I'm not really close to the game, but it's, it's just what you hear. You hear like stuff about like the Ark team not being very good about that kind of stuff, and yeah, I don't know if I like closing it up. I mean, it works, but. Oh, 
We'll see. This, I have a plan here. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. If I may say so. Okay. Oh, is that a thing? Do I have to worry about, oh. Smoke physics. <laughs> That's interesting. That's very interesting. Huh. All right. So my idea here was now I slant the roof. And I'm going to make it a very aggressive slant. Bam. No. Bam. Bam. And then here we have a, a corner roof. Or, or. We put the triangle. <laughs> you know. The triangle. Now we put the triangle on the next part. Yeah, this is a cool house. This ain't your baby house. This is a cool house. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> can I? Can I make a chimney? Do I die? Do I suffocate if I don't have a chimney? I mean, you know, I know realism and stuff like that, but... <laughs> Will I die? How would this work? Okay, okay, okay. I know. Oh, you take damage. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I should probably build. There we go. There we go. Hey, that's not bad. Let's have a... You know, what I could do here, I can make it so it... How would I do that? Yeah, this type. This type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Instead of s how do I make it keep going? Okay, so. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, okay, so I invert it. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Yes? No. It makes sense sometimes. <laughs> um, I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, it's not gonna work for my things downstairs, though. It's gonna say you don't have a roof. Um, you know what I could do? And this is a... You could say this is a very simple solution. You could say this is a very simple solution. I could do this. Why can't I open doors on that building? I go out here. And I put the fire on the outside. Boom. It's still warm where I need it to be warm. And then I put my food stuff. Because I know I need to craft food. Boom, right there. Now I can cook item. That seems logical. I will say that seems logical. Boom. Oh, I can add a pot too. Oh, a chop. What's a chopping block for? Um. Can I not delete? Oh, I have my menu open. There we go. All right. Uh. Hey. We doing this. We surviving. That would be really cool if you could smoke stuff. Oh, I should probably take... That sounds... my meat. Mmm. Okay. There we go. You are sheltered. So now I can properly close this building. There we go. And I wonder if fire works, if like the, for the game, what it considers to be warm is a 360 dome around it. So if I were to put the fire on the, oh, I can't put it on the second floor. Never mind. I was gonna say, if I were to put the fire on the second floor, why doesn't this work? This bothers me. <laughs> In everything we were able to achieve here, why can't we achieve that? A standable first. Open. Oh, they open both ways. I mean, that makes sense. But. I will achieve ladder. I mean, stick. Mm. Wait, how do they expect me to do it then? If fire needs protection. Ark, this is getting too complicated. They want me to protect the fire, but they don't want me to choke to death with the fire, but I don't have a chimney. Is there a chimney? There's no chimney. Could I build a chimney? I could probably build a chimney. I could probably build a venting system. 
Oh, you know what? They probably want me to put support poles. Why am I walking? Why am I walking slowly? Am I doing something? Can I no longer do this? You know what? Screw it, we're doing it. The, the cool, the cool way. Yep, double. Tell me I can walk in. Why am I walking? Yeah, so what I was gonna, th I was thinking was like, kind of have a something like that, and then it kind of like stays like this, kind of like one of those old factories. If that makes any sense. And I actually, because I don't really use, uh, I, I guess it wouldn't work because I use this, you use the scroll wheel for so many different things. Um, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, the sun is so beautiful. Oh, oh, <laughs> this guy is very pretty in this game. What I'm gonna do, is there a flat roof? I feel like they should have a flat roof. What is this? They need a, and again, honestly, small nitpicks, uh, but they, they're they gonna need to add more options here for, for like roofs and stuff. Maybe later in the game, you get more, and I'm just like very, why am I walking? <laughs> it's really... Okay, he's back to normal. Um, okay. Okay. Um, So I guess this is the only mode of flat roof. It's kind of a problem. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, okay. This, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna make it more vertical. More verticality. 45 degrees. Yes. Yes. No, it's gonna look weird. Okay. Okay. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Boom. Boom. Oh. Boom. Eh. 
angle. Angle. Here, what we're going to do is... Okay, so for here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of 45s. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ah, it's too dramatic. Yeah, I think. Yes. Yes. There it is. There it is. We did it! We did it! Maybe I should have done it one earlier. I think it might... I might need to do it one earlier and make it double tall. Because otherwise, if this stays flat, if that stays flat right, right here, then it's gonna... We'll try. We'll try like this. Um... Yeah, this should be fun. This or this, and then, um, I think one of these, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go, okay, now we're gonna test. Putting a fire in here. Boom. Right there. Now we're gonna miscellaneous fire. Boom. Fire. Smoke. Up. Okay, okay, okay. okay maybe we should close these. Okay. How we doing? Okay, yeah, so it is catching a little bit there. But otherwise... Good stuff! Good stuff! So, we're gonna fix this. I wonder if I can sleep already. We're gonna fix that. There we go. You dream of a river running uphill. Green shoots turning downward into the earth. Is this like crazy Viking lore where it's like actual things? Like it's talking about a different day? I mean a different universe? Because I know they have like Midgar and Nilfgaard and blah blah, where they're all like different universes that are parallel and stuff. So. 
Um, I should make a chest. What's the front of the chest? Okay. Let's put my second stuff in there. There we go. For now, that's it. I'll put more of my weird inventory. Uh, I should also move this back now. a little bit nicer in here. This looks like a nice, proper little house. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix this now, but I'm okay with that. Um, and this, 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 this. Okay. And I think that's where I'm going to end tonight, is by finishing this. Finishing the house, and that's going to be it for me tonight. Um, okay, so now, now I understand what I need to do. It makes sense to me. Boom. There. Boom. There. Okay. So here we can have... Uh, this one, like this, like that, and like that. And now, here, we start making it go up. I guess I should start adding supports to these. So, I know... I need to support it like that, like that, like that, and like that. Now they're all green. Perfect. I should probably... No! Okay. <laughs> Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. Okay. Probably... What? 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 Am I too hot? Was I too hot? Is this too hot? What was that? Okay, what's hurting me? Smoked. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have put it there, I should put it in the middle. Okay, put it in the middle. Go there. There you go. Both of them should be okay now. Alright. Um I'm gonna close this roof. Risky. We got this, we got this. Um, boom. Boom. What in the world do we do with this? Uh, half wall, half wall. Half wall. 45 degree.
Boom. Oh, good thing it's day. Can really quickly just go out and just do a little bit of gathering. I have made some decorative structures with the support beams. Oh. Yeah, it seems like you can do a lot, especially with the cross ones. I think you can make that like look like a classic Viking look with it. Oh, I love how the trees land. It makes me smile. Too close. I haven't leveled up my wood cutting ability in a while. I wonder if I'm close. Wood cutting? No. I got half a level ago. I haven't eaten food in a long time. Can I double eat food? Can't eat more raspberries. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are these the big boys? Uh oh, uh oh, it has two stars. It's not good. Okay, you're still running away, which is good. Okay. This is really good. MVP torch. MVP torch. I am nothing without this torch. Literally, I would be dead. Be mincemeat. Wish I could burn them. Like, I can get burned. I wish, like, if I right clicked, it, uh, used up. Yes. Get away, punk. I have to sit for a little bit. Get out. Oh, really? We just equipped a torch. Now he punches. Dude, you should learn how to use your torch as a... My club skill is improving, though. I'm becoming the best clubber in the house. Makes me want to talk like a character in Banjo-Kazooie. Ooh, that was a good hit. Can I do crits? I'm guessing crits are a thing. He's won! There we go. Yes, yes! Torch, torch, torch. I'm running out of torch. I don't think I've ever attacked. You can do crits. Enemies can too. Okay, good to know. Hard. 
good to know. Is it worth cutting stumps? Ah, eh, it's pretty quick. It's worth it. But yeah, this game... This game's pretty well made. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time doing this. We struggled. We struggled in the beginning. But we persevered. We survived. We're survivors now. We have a little island. Mostly to get rid of them. <laughs> that's that's fair. They are a bit of an eyesore. What does rested do for you? do that more. That double swing. I like that. Uh oh. Man, I remember the days where I was doing six damage to the log. Now I do seven and eight. How times have changed. Oh, look at all these stones. This is good stuff. Some of that good good. Okay. Just wanna cut that stump? I mean that log? I don't feel rested anymore. <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing. You don't feel rested anymore. Uh-oh, uh -oh. am I full? I can't pick up more? You're carrying too much. Oh no. I'm encumbered. Guess I'll... Guess that's where you having storage comes into play. Hello, why are you in a weird place? You need to lighten your load. If you carry too much luggage, you will become encumbered, slowing you down and preventing you from regaining your stamina. Thank you, bird. All right, so I'm gonna put some wood in here. Put 50 of my wood in there, there we go. I can. Finish up, especially during the day here. I just want to get this, this log specifically. Oh, this one's not the one. That one's the one. Is this the one? No, this is birch too. Oh no. Where was I cutting? Oh, over there. Wow, that was really high up. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back and fix my stuff. I should probably make another torch, too. Can the house burn? Did I not have a fire out here? It's looking like a cool house, though. Just saying. Looks like a true Viking house. Okay, all right. So, where was I? Yes. Mostly a damage type, okay. Good to know. All right. Hmm. Oh, like, 
create support beams for this. Oh no. This is bad. Um... Looking at the wrong thing again. So I'm gonna create support. So these are our 28s. Makes sense. Did I make it better? Am I gonna support that? Why is it changing color? <laughs> should I... Should I do this? Not gonna hold though, so okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna. Send it to the bottom floor, the pillar, okay. Okay. Let's see. Um. Oh, it actually won't. Oh, wait. Can I put it on the wall? it though I like that there is structural integrity now it makes it more difficult on me but I like it I think I should have enough to build you know what I could do is now from here. Okay. Need to be very careful. Okay. 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 So this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. From here. Okay. Okay. Not working right now, but it's gonna work. Bam. Alright, alright. Okay. It's 
least interest. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Am I smoked? Okay, now I'm fine. Boom. Boom. Then we put a little one. Put a little one. Boom. Yes. You know what? Okay, I figured it out. So now I got it. Now I'm going to do make it lower. Looks kind of ridiculous. It's super tall. And here actually corner ones I'm gonna make this this boom now we add a halfy did I okay so we just add a full Was that what you meant by extended to the bottom floor? And yeah, I think I think it's funny that... I mean, I get it that it's recalculating it, but I think it's just funny. Uh, it, it takes a little bit. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Now, we go to the final stage of this. Final stage. Which is... Turning it downward so that we're fully protected we don't have to worry about the rain uh, I should fix my stuff so what I'm gonna do might have gone too ambitious here with my with my projects but it's all right it's all right um four what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go with a 45er Thirty-fives to our twenty-eights. Yeah. Um. 
So this should be okay. have a bunch of wood in the thing I don't have to worry about it hey and that's why we come prepared I have to worry about getting a bunch of wood let's go Completely obviously because we have we need to have but it's not really making use of this tile and this tile we will make a pillar that goes right there and right there there we go and that goes right there and right there and now Hopefully the structural integrity of this house. Okay. Didn't work. There we go. This is a cool house! <laughs> At least, at least my house could have, I guess. Okay. It's okay. <sighs> making it very difficult. Um. Let's see. Yes. on the roof. He's a righty. It's a problem. Hey, here's the thing. I could move the ladder. <laughs> Simple solution. I am trying to do this the hardest way possible, but if you don't do it the hardest way possible, what are you gaining from it? Probably add a pillar to this. There we go. This is starting to look like a Skyrim house. <laughs> it's starting to look like Skyrim. Alright. I don't get. What did I just break? Okay. That's, that's fine. That is fine. Um. need room to escape not a problem I can still build a wall here come on come on come on there we go and oh there we go Half 
four. Four, have four. Boom. Four. And there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go from the outside. Ah! Aha! Yes! <laughs> this house is looking a little bit crazy from the outside. Um... This is fine. This is a fine house. Not a problem. I need to repair it. I think I need to repair the house. All right. I think this is good. I mean, no, no water is gonna get in now, at least. How do I repair? Repair. Oh. Oh. Is it worth it repairing? Like these little... Oh. Actually, the house seems to be pretty... Oh. In pretty all right shape. Like it, I thought when they were all attacking me last night, or however many nights ago it was, I thought I thought I was a goner. Like I thought the house was gonna collapse and I was gonna be sad. I was preparing for that. I was bracing for that. But it turned out okay. Hey, my thing works. It holds the smoke there, and then the smoke escapes. Uh, I'm gonna remove those. But here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Big brain move. So then it doesn't look as derpy anymore. Okay, I need, I need my ladder again. Oh, what is this? Hello! How are you doing, Dieter? has been de-derpified. Maybe. Maybe. What that would. Doing well, doing well. Okay, I'm gonna slide here. just enjoying this game surprisingly I'm actually having I guess surprisingly for me but not surprisingly because of the game the game is actually really fun I feel comfort Oh, but what if sideways spray? Okay, okay. Oh, you know what I could do here? Oh no, because I did a weird...
I feel like a sauna. <laughs> just, uh, I think this is fine. I think this is fine for right now. Oh, probably eat something. Uh, I'll just make some minor fortifications, and that'll be it. There, there. Now we have some things meeting up at different points. Boom. Yeah, that's healthy green now. That's not. Um. Oh. Let's look up here. This isn't a healthy anything. Okay, and I'm out of wood. So that's going to be everything I do for the day. Let's, let's go appreciate this beauty of the modern era from the outside. Wow. <laughs> not bad. It's not bad. Kind of cool here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this fire. Uh, oop. Oop. Now we can get an actual feel for, for the smokiness. I kind of like that. The smoke is coming out of the top like that. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. If I extend the house afterwards... <laughs> if I ex... Uh oh. If I extend the house one more, then I can actually make it look more natural. Because I started... A little bit too far forward. But if I extended one more, it could look okay. Oh, so you think that... Are we accumulating a lot of smoke? I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Is that a thing? No, it's not a thing. You just... I was like, maybe it is. If the raven can get in, then that's it. But the raven can poof. Ow. I hear animals. I hear animals. Where is animals? It's still interesting that there's this random rock formation. Ah. The beauty. Is that a land back there? Or am I seeing things? Is that just a... Cloud formation. Interesting. That looks interesting. But yeah. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for me today then. So I might, in the future, I might extend it further one more. And... So that then the thing can just like slide off of there. We have a nice little top, and we can just have a, something sliding off of there. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I know that I went way over the time that I was expecting to stream, but this was really entertaining. I actually had a really good time. <laughs> so, really can't complain. And it's cool, too, that every every uh, instance of the game can be made into, like, a server for other people. So, if it ever became a thing that I would have people coming here, 
I wouldn't need to restart from scratch. But we'll see about that when we... Can you fish in this game? Hope it has robust fishing. You know. Definitely a game that would have very robust fishing. Although they could add it. It seems like the devs, from what you're saying, are they're interested in making more of the basic concepts of the game very solid, so if that is a big if that's a thing that you do in the game, that might be. How am I liking the game? I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I built a house. Here, I'll run out and... It looks like a Skyrim house. Hello, traveler. How are you? Did... Did BB wake you up? And this is very much still just the beginning. Yes, I will expand this house. It will be massive. It will be the biggest house. What is the point? Okay. Here, I'll, I'm gonna do one last thing. What is the point of this? Chopping block. Why do I want a chopping block? Oh, that's pretty. Mmm. Oh, so I should have it near the working the workbench. Okay. Yeah, like, this is a nice little cozy home. I'm okay with this. There we go. You can upgrade more, build more advanced stuff. Yeah, and that's kind of what I want. I want to be able to build better weapons, because eventually then I can go out and start doing the actual missions of the game. Which, you know, haven't even really talked about that, done anything about that. I'm just kind of setting myself up, so. Ooh. Enemy? Enemy? All right. Yeah, this is a really nice game. This is a pretty, it's a good time. Can I go into first person? Yeah, dude, does it save? How, do, how does the game save? Do I sleep? Is sleeping a good way to save the game? It saves when you quit, okay. Once again, you run at the head of your warriors. A weight of your father's axe in your hand. You wake with a war cry. You know, a game that I also really wanted to play was, uh, the new Assassin's Creed. It seemed very interesting. It kind of had this kind of feel to it, too. I mean, it's, both of them are, like, Viking feel to them, so. Anyway. So I'm gonna quit here. Uh, log out. Log out? Yes. I am alive and finishing a stream. It also auto saves occasionally. Auto saves matter if the game crashes. It has crashed on you once. It, it actually seems pretty stable. It seems pretty good. So I can't. Over about 66 hours of the game. Yeah, no, it's. Obviously, I haven't done anything crazy, but. Ooh, ooh, lowered the damage on death mosquitoes. Good to know that there are death mosquitoes. I have a history with mosquitoes, so I hope I never run into any of those. 
Probably in character improvement. And this is all recent. They, they're almost making a change a day. Obviously not anymore. But they were making a change a day, essentially. Anyway. Thank you, everyone, for watching. <laughs> Thank you for coming on with me on this interesting, very interesting adventure in this game. It's definitely caught my attention, and it feels very different than any other survival-y type game I've ever played. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. I'm, I'll definitely be coming back to it. Maybe next time I stream, I'll split the stream again. Yeah, no, I'm really glad, too. So, might be seeing more of this game in the future. Yeah, for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all on Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll be the next time I stream. So I'm streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 p.m. EST. So feel free to come on back. And I will, I'll be here. Thank you so much for coming by. Have a good night.